Hello, my name is Alexandra Mitzi and this presentation is an introduction to building information modeling with the use of Sophistic and Autodesk Revit structure. In this slide, we do present the three different possible workflows for an engineer by using the Sophistic products. The first CAD-based technology workflow requires a CAD model for pre-processing, the analysis can be made by Sophistic FEM modules, and for the general arrangement and reinforcement drawings, we will need the Sophistic product named Sophicad. So we are talking here for several different files. In the third workflow, we can see the building information modeling concept. Drafting and engineering tasks are no longer separate, but instead integrated and shared in the same file. Autodesk Revit Structure offers this possibility and Sophistic Interface for Revit Structure makes possible the analysis and the design of the model. In the near future, the information from Sophistic Analysis will be delivered automatically back to the Revit Structure. We will present this BIM workflow step by step. Our system is a 3D multi-story building and contains CR walls, columns, beams, slabs and a CR core. We try to keep our loading simple, so for loading we have used the self-weight of the structure, some variable loads, snow and wind. If you want to learn more about the system and also to check some other Sophistic examples, you can visit our Sophistic web page, then visit our info portal, which you find at support, info portal, and here you can see our examples and in our case we want to search for the 3D multi-story building and here it comes. Our command center will be the Sophistic Structural Desktop otherwise known as SSD. SSD is a working environment where you control different programs and offers various wizards or predefined tasks from a library. Like here we can see that you can insert a task and here is the library and the wizards of Sophistic. Sophistic offers Revit, Rhino and AutoCAD interface for pre-processing a system. As mentioned, Revit structure will be used in this presentation. We will now open our Revit model. And here we have to mention that a Sophistic BIM Tools template is used for the Revit workflow. We have now opened the Revit program and we can see here the 3D system of ours. If I switch to the structural view, we can see the loads and the structural system. The cross-sections, materials and loads that have been defined in Revit are automatically mapped into Sophistic cross-sections, materials and actions. So for example, in the material mapping, we can see the materials that have been defined. In section mapping, we see the several cross-sections that have been used. What is interesting to mention is the following. Sophistic gives the possibility of defining a T-beam in Revit. So, in my model, I have a beam here, which seems that it's a rectangular beam, but Sophistic offers this option. It's called Sophistic Effective Width. By changing that, something like three meters here and apply. If I now go to the section mapping, I can see here that I have a beam that is represented as a rectangular beam, but the calculations will consider the effective width also. Here I can see the cross section of the beam with the overall width of floods of three meters. Regarding the input of loading, 
Revit offers several different load natures. So if I press here the tab Analyze and then Load Cases, I can see several load natures like self-weight, variable load, wind, snow, etc. If I go to the Sophistic Action Mapping, I can see the Revit load nature with the corresponding Sophistic Action. Further processing of loads like combinations according to a code will be made inside SSD. Sophistic offers three different options for export and meshing of the structural model. So you can mesh the entire system, mesh the partial system, so only the selected or the visible elements, and also to mesh the subsystem and create boundary conditions. What this means is that only the selected visible elements are exported to a separate database and boundary conditions are generated using stiffness information of connecting elements, like columns or walls. Let's export now a subsystem. I have already prepared floor plan view. So this is the floor number 2 and the corresponding loads. So in the Sophistic tab I press export and I press mesh the subsystem and create boundary conditions. Sophistic uses automatic quadrilateral meshing for high quality results and the mesh size can be easily adapted as can be seen here. I press OK And then I go to the SSD 3D building subsystem. So SSD now opens. And we can see the exported subsystem. We can now run the calculation for the corresponding loads of second floor. Calculation is very fast because of the 64 bit sparse solver that Sophistic uses. And we can also check at the animator the response of the structure at the dead load or the variable load. or the clouding system. In this option, as mentioned before, the boundary conditions are automatically created. Let's do now a partial system mesh. So I go back to Revit and my 3D model and I will select some elements and then go to Sophistic Export and I check the mesh partial system. Press OK. For opening the SSD system, I get two options, either to open the 3D building subsystem or to open the SSD main system, which is the case here. Those are the elements that have been selected in Revit for export and of course no boundary conditions have been created. I have already exported the entire 3D model from Revit to Sophistic and I would like to briefly describe the basic concept for analysis and design into SSD. When you first create your system, you define the code according to which design has to be made. In my case, I have selected the DIN National Annex for Eurocode 1992. SSD will create automatically the combination rules based on this information. So, for example, here I can see the combination number 100 for the crack width, then for the deflections, and also the ultimate design combination. Manual combinations are also possible. Next step is to run the linear analysis of my model, which I have already made. So we can check in animator this load case, which is the wind blowing from the 
x direction in this taskbar we can see the loads with the corresponding c values and also the results from the linear analysis I stop now the animation view in case of linear analysis which is the case here the results can superimpose and we get automatically the load cases which will be used for the design of the quad and beam elements after the superpositioning of the results I can continue to the design so first I define some parameters like for example the minimum reinforcement diameter and if I want to do a crack control I can define the crack width and then in the design ULS task I can see that I can get automatically the load cases for the ultimate design combination some basic parameters for the design can also be changed in the SSD task like for example if I want a punching check I can click here yes to increase main reinforcement if necessary further on we can continue with the design of the beams the SLS design and so on I want to now check the results uh, of this uh, frame here of my structure and for this I will open the wing graph uh, program so uh, we now get uh, the maximum bending moment my in this uh, beam and uh, when in wind graph uh, program you can further post process uh, your results and for example if I want to see my reinforcement I go to this tab at design uh, beam elements design and I want to see the total reinforcement of uh, the beam so I get this value here after making my analysis and getting the demanding uh, reinforcement in beams and slabs I will show you now very briefly the possibility that Revit offers you to have plan views and also reinforcement drawings so by the use of Sophistic Beam Tools uh, template you can get easily the position plans and I have already prepared a position plan for the floor level Two. and also a reinforcement drafting for this frame that we were looking before in WinGraph so if I go here in Platon Balkan we can see that it's a reinforcement drafting and I, I already have put some reinforcement and I can show you how easy it is so I go here in the section number one and if I go to structure tab I have like five commands here in Revit and very easily you can put a reinforcement so something like that this is only uh, indicative let's say reinforcement and not uh, the exact amount that uh, the frame needs but I would like now to show you uh, the possibility take the reaper shape detail of this reinforcement that you have used this uh, can be done uh, with the Sophistic Product Enforcement uh, Detailing so I, and I go to the Sophistic Rebar and I can press Rebar Shape Detail and I can get uh, the detail of uh, this reinforcement so now if I go back to the city I can see here that I also got the detail of this reinforcement that I asked and here you can get automatically the views of the reinforcement details 
in every section that uh, you ask. Last but not least, uh, with uh, sophistic uh, reinforcement detailing, you can also create uh, the schedules of uh, your uh, drawing. This is, uh, I suppose, a really important uh, feature for uh, the engineers. That was uh, an overview of BIM workflow using Sophistic and Autodesk Revit structure. And I would like here to say that such workflow is possible when you have uh, this uh, 3D FEM professional Sophistic package and also the Autodesk Revit uh, structure. Sophistic offers uh, several packages that meet uh, any civil engineering requirement and allows uh, structural engineers to efficiently model, analyze and design uh, any structure. You can have an overview of the Sophistic FEM packages when you go to the Sophistic web page and then you click at the more information and here you can have an overview of the four basic FEM packages. Thank you for your attention.